Hello everyone, Pixelip here for a brand new Pixelmon adventure. This will be a daily series and you're probably wondering, Pixelip, where have you been for the past three days? Well, I've been making some textures for Pokemon. And not just some, I've made a texture, or a retexture, for every single Pokemon in Pixelmon, which is 520 three unique textures for all the Pokemon in the game and they'll now all look different and this is going to be an amazing adventure that I hope you guys will be able to join along with me um, I have posted some of the Pokemon look at that, a bay leaf that's actually pretty rare dang <laughs> we should probably catch that but I posted some screenshots of what some of the Pokemon look like on my Twitter which is at Ellie if you want to get a sneak peek but well, we're basically going to be discovering what Pokemon look like throughout the series because even though I textured all the Pokemon, texturing 500 plus Pokemon kind of made me forget a lot of them, not going to lie. <laughs> so, we're going to be rediscovering things and I hope you guys will enjoy this. This will be a daily series and won't interrupt any of the role plays. I also have a schedule now. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, the only thing is that today's Friday. I'm, it was supposed to come up on Thursday, but like... Yeah, so we're skipping an episode of anime, I think. It's fine. It'll be cool. And updates as usual on my Twitter. You should follow it. I only have 2,000 followers. <laughs> Kidding, it's fine. So, what what's unique about this series? Well, I want to make it super interactive with you guys. So, you guys will be able to leave comments for nicknames for any Pokemon that I catch. In this episode, I have 15 Ultra Balls. And I will quickly set the difficulty to normal because I'm a little little uh, peaceful I should say and I'm gonna use these to try to catch some Pokemon and you guys are gonna vote on my starter which I'm gonna get next episode and vote on the nicknames for what I should call the Pokemon and all the people who leave suggestions leave your username in the comments as well because I'll put you walking around our little village here as we continue to expand and add to it throughout the episodes it will be pretty sick and also if you want to draw any fan art of any of the recolorations of Pokemon because some of them look pretty cool not gonna lie, then you can, oh my, oh, that's Mega Venusaur, alright, I thought that was a Venusaur for a second, Mega Venusaur looks pretty dope, look at this dude, so he has like silver leaves and a white body, I really like how this came out, and if you guys want fit to draw fan art in any of the Pokemon in this series, that'd be amazing, you can tweet it to me, and I'll retweet it for sure, because that's so cool, and we got some berries over there, we'll check those out in a second, and look at this sentry, he's all purple and green, and sorry about the lag in this video, um, I'm working on getting a new computer, which will be in the next few days. I'm still using my brother's because my old one just randomly broke. Anyways, let's dive in. So, interactivity, <laughs> that's what I was talking about. You'll be able to comment nicknames, tweet fan art if you want, and what you can also do is if you leave a like, every 20 likes we get will be a coin for the orange anime dude, who's not Goku at all. It's like shop, which we can use to get Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, random Pokemon, eggs, that'll be pretty fun, and Master Balls. And there'll be more stuff that will be coming in the next few episodes, and pretty cool. So you should definitely leave a like. If we could go for 2,000 likes for this new series, that'd be amazing. So, starters. Sorry about all this stuff I'm having to cover. It's just such a cool series, and I want you guys to know everything, and I want to steal wood from this, um center because I am not the best person <laughs> okay so we're going to turn this into some planks the GUI is a little bit glitchy because uh, I'm using a pre 1.10 texture pack which uh, I probably should change for future videos now uh, we're just gonna hop onto the center here and check out all of our starter options because there are a lot so of course we got the Kanto starters Charmander and Squirtle rocking a beige look Bulbasaur with the pink bulb on his back. Um, Cyndaquil rocking the pink stripe stripes look, I guess. Um, Totodile just going full purple and yellow eyes. I really like how Totodile came out. Um, Chikorita, we saw Bayleaf already, so Chikorita loses this brownish coloring and grows into more pink, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, we can't pass. Uh, then we got Mr. Trico over here, who has a blackish tail and some, I guess, a turquoise look, and so it does this Mudkip. And then 
this this uh, torchic. I don't know how to describe the red. It's like a scarlet red or like a maroon type color. I like it a lot. It suits them. Then we got a pink and purple piplup type of thing. A spooky purple <laughs> chimchar. A lot of these are purple. Purple dang. And a silver and kind of like the normal shiny uh, turtwig. Some of these may look like the normal shiny because I didn't look up the normal shiny because I'm dumb. And look at that. That's so cool. That's how Mega Charizard Y looks like in this in this series. So then we got a pink little Tepig, a green Oshawott, a purple and blue Snivy. I really like how that one looks like. That uh, looks looks out looks came out. Yes. Um, a purple Froakie. I was about to say Frogadier. A kind of yellowish Chespin and a green Fennekin, which looks really cool in my opinion. So yeah, that are, that's our choices. Vote in the comment section down below. And yeah, may the best starter win. But today we're just going to catch some Pokemon. Leave a like if you're interested in fan art and any of these guys. That'd be amazing. Tweet it at me or email it to me or comment it. I don't know, anything. Just get it to me because I want to see you guys' creativity. And that'll be awesome. And yeah, comment nicknames for the Pokemon we're catching this episode. I don't know what they'll be. Also, if we encounter any shiny Pokemon, um... I don't know. I don't think... I, I didn't change their textures, so they'll be the normal shiny Pokemon. That's what I wanted to disclose. So now that we've disclosed everything, we can just hop right in. Catch whatever Pokemon we want. I kind of want to catch a Starly, not gonna lie. Let's try throwing a Pokeball. Oh, that Ultra Ball. That did not work. There we go. No, no, still not working. Oh, did that work? Yes, okay. Come on, catch. This is a pretty decent level one, so... <gasps> it caught! Sweet! We captured Starly. Alright, so you guys... Common nicknames for this dude. Um, let's check him out. So he, Starly, stay, stay still, buddy. Stay still. Um, I think the reason why it's kind of lagging is because I kind of I doubled the Pokemon spawn, so that's gonna be a little lag. Uh, I'm just gonna turn Runder distance down to normal. Ah, oh, that's so bad. I'm sorry. YouTubers shouldn't have lag problems. It's a blood moon. That's spooky. I'm a bad YouTuber, so yeah. <laughs> so this guy's blue. Ah, uh, we're being fought by Eradicate. Get out of here. We gotta run, dude. Okay, that was scary. So, Mr. Starly here. Um, you, you're blue and turquoise. I really like the way this guy looks. He's so cute. So, uh, maybe names relating to his coloration. I don't know. Something like that. And moves-wise, we have wing attack, quick attack, growl, and tackle. So, we can do some damage to some... Ooh, wait. We can battle this Mareep. Hopefully, finish it off with a tackle. It didn't finish it off. Okay, we live, though. We live and we live in. Nice, but we got paralyzed. That kind of sucks. Um, I guess I'll take the items. Uh, and a centered attack us as well. Let's try wing attacking you. Scratch it a lot. We got paralyzed and couldn't move. Foresight. Let's get a better angle here. Um, wing attack did a lot though. I think... Wait! We fainted? I, I was about to say. I think we've got this. But I guess I, I need to rethink my, <laughs> my strategizing. Because I did not get that at all. But we have some drops. I might make a drop shop in the future. Those are kind of tedious because there's like 500 drops in Pixelmon or something. Then again, I did I did retexture 500 Pokemon, so that would be a bit easier. Uh, there we have Zubat looking all pink and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we have more Mega Venusaurs. They are everywhere. Glooms, interesting. Ooh, we have a Lampent, I believe. Yes, I want to check that out. So this guy, um, it's kind of a faint difference in texture. But his light is, I don't know how to describe it, it's less purple and more bluish. And of course you have an Arbok attack us, that's not good. Um, I want to run. <laughs> Arbok I really like too, he's kind of more of a brownish color. Nice. It works, works well on him. Some of the Pokemon changes are pretty faint. We got a Skitty as well, should we catch it? I don't know, yeah, Skitty's blue. Um, let's defeat it. I've already used Skitty in some series before. Wing attack, let's go. That did a ton of damage. Dang. Okay. Nice. We got some. We got a grass mail. That's so random. That is that is extremely random. <laughs> Gritty Skitty's like not green, not a grass type. Male connection? I don't know. It's a tiny Mr. Mime. I want to check that out. That's adorable. It's kind of scary too. And we should be collecting berries because those are useful. We can start a berry plantation farm. I don't know. Where did the Mr. Mime go? He disappeared. Mr. Mime plus Senpai. Oh, is he over here? No, I don't see him. What? He was right around here. He was, oh, he's right there. Yes, okay. 
So Mr. Mime, I made him even creepier. I made him purple. What is this? It's a Pinaco. Can we defeat this with Starly? Um, maybe. Protect? Okay. I don't- I think we can defeat it. Nice. Rapid spin critical hit, though. Ouch. Self-destruct. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at this, Mr. Mime. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's purple and black, or like dark blue. I like it a lot. What is that? Oh, it's a Spinarak. Aw, oh, Starly, we need to heal you up. We need to take on the Spinarak. Alright, yeah, I'm so sorry about this lag. Don't, don't stop watching, please. I, I don't know if it's super noticeable to you guys. Look at that. I love that. That is so cool. I decided to keep the red above his eye. It's like bleeding out or something. I don't know. It's just saying is such a fascinating, spooky Pokemon. Just wanted to pay homage, homage to that, I guess. Look at Drifloon. What color are you? You're like blue? I guess. Should we try battling you? Because you might use ghost type moves on us. And we could like psych you out. Minimize. Oh, that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. It's going to keep st stalling. Stalin with that? Oh, we could be able to defeat this thing, actually. Huh. We, we keep hitting. Do we have, like, an accuracy-increasing ability? Should I catch Drifloon? Hmm. Drifloon used to be my favorite Pokemon, but no. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Unique Pokemon. We defeated it. Starly grew level. I will take that Floatstone. Interesting. Alright. So, oh! Starly's evolving already! Yo! I had no idea it was that early. Huh. Well, we're going to be able to see what Star Avia looks like. That's very cool. Starly's kind of a star our starter, but not really. <laughs> okay, so let's head back to the land. Oh, it's a Wigglytuff. Look at you. He's all green and blue and stuff. I love it. I love it. Oh, Hootoot. There are so many different possibilities for Pokemon we can catch. It's so fun. This is going to be an awesome series. Daily uploads, because I've done all the preparation for it. We can pretty much do episodes consistently now and we have our good good boy Staravia. give me nicknames for him look at him i love it okay so he has the green and bluish look i don't know how to describe it but it suits him suits him very much very much okay let's catch some new pokemon yeah so for it's one of the ones that like i made him look exactly like <laughs> the the shiny by accident so we caught a shiny for it but not really <laughs> or we found one foresight that's fine i feel so bad killing ferrets but you know what this is a bad for it he doesn't have good moves quick attack a hey, you were level ayapa berry drop oh yeah and i increased the poke loot by times three i think so we're gonna be seeing a lot of poke loot and we got a blue mail of course of course <laughs> the, the best mail clearly Ooh, we got some water pokemon we could be using in here anything Interesting, we got a Magikarp. Also, there are two different colors of Magikarp. If the Pokemon has a male and a female texture, I did separate colors for each of them, so put it in the hard work, guys. Really? Yeah, so there's like one green and one blue, I think. I don't know. Are there anything that's not Magikarps or Sea Kings? Stuff like that. What is that? Ooh, it's a Barboach. Level 26. It's a Wishcash, too. Wait, 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 I want to see Wishcash. Uh, no, the, te the texture I made for Wishcash is so cool. You can't really see it here. But it's cool. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, guys. It's cool. Oh, Metapod. Oh, should we get a Metapod? Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's try, try finding like a Butterfree. I don't know. We're gonna wait and attack it. We're gonna be cruel. <laughs> that was really mean. I feel bad. It's a Heracross. What level are you? Fifty-seven. <laughs> no. No, thank you. It's a Caterpie. Okay, okay. I want to get the Caterpie. Let's go, let's go, because I really like how he, how he looks, he's just so cute. So give, give nicknames for Caterpie, that would be awesome. Let's end the episode when we catch one more Pokemon. I don't know if we'll keep Caterpie on the team for too long, but he's a little cutie. Oh, it's a Butterfree! Okay, well, I guess we don't really need to catch Caterpie, do we? <laughs> that kind of messes up the po or There's no point, really, that's what I'm trying to say. It's He's blue. Oh, 47, okay, never mind. Never mind, what about over here? It's Weeping Bell as well. They're talking to each other. Uh, let's waypoint this. As waypoint, add forest. We'll call it Butter Forest, because we found Butterfreeze in here. Even though it's not really that that rare. <laughs> it helps me, it helps me. Oh, they're communicating. 
Oh, uh, this is I don't know, Taiga. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking of. Let me waypoint this to this is going to be our Taiga. And in Taigas you can find Teddy Ursa, which is a very cool Pokemon, and I made a really cool texture for it, if we can find it. I don't know what else we can find. See the thing Ah <gasps> I found it! Yes! He's alright, this texture's awesome. I love it so much. We attack. Uh, scratch, not too much damage, we good, we good. We attack, fake tears, we attack, all right, we can catch him now. Nice, nice. All right, look at this texture. I love this texture so much, he's so cute. And Ursaring's like ferocious too, so that's cool. Teddy Urs is a good mon, good, good mon to have. Okay, so look at this guy. Look at this dude, oh, okay, and we gotta check out Caterpie as well. Look at, okay, so come up with nicknames. If we, if you guys said fan art, of this Teddy Ursa, I love it, because I love him so much. He's so cute. He has a blue moon on his head, and he's all like noir, black and stuff. And Caterpie's adorable too. He's kind of a turquoise. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, we got a Pidgeotto over there as well. Interesting. It's level 23. Not interested. That's too spooky for me. It's a level 6 Patrisu. Um, Maybe I can try battle. I should probably... Try battling. We'll, we'll get Caterpie some levels here. I'll probably evolve from this. I mean, we could level up Caterpie from <laughs> anything, really, to be honest. Wait, Teddy Ursa healed when we caught him. Is that normal? I don't know. He only has Scratch now, though. That sucks. Or and Fling, I guess. That That's true. Uh, Caterpie grew level. I think he'll evolve now. No? Is it level 7 and level 10? Is that what it is? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go up against some Magikarp here. What is that thing? Is that a... Oh, it's a tiny Goldeen. Yeah, so there's two different Magikarps. There's that one and there's the other one. Just for clarification, because one is female and one is male. Yes, Caterpie's evolving. Alright, and he'll evolve, or he or she, I don't know. You guys look at the gender so you guys can come up with nicknames. <laughs> um, Caterpie's evolving into a... I was about I was about to say Wurmple. That would be very strange. To Metapod. <laughs> and now we can evolve again into a Butterfree. We are on a roll. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we defeat this? Teddy Ursa, are you strong enough? Quick attack. Got a critical hit. Fling. It failed. We don't have an item. That's true. So yeah, I should have. I should have known. Should have known. Scratch doesn't damage. Alright, alright. Sand attack. Scratch again. I have an idea. We won, we won, we won. Easy money, easy money. Watch this. Okay, even if we don't hit... We, we hit, we hit. Nice. And Metapod should evolve now. Yes! Sweet! Okay, we have a Butterfree. Nice! I, I said we'd finish when we caught another Pokemon. Should we catch another Pokemon? I don't know. We want to make the premiere episode fun, right? Look, we can scroll around. We got a Butterfree. Alright, let's check out Butcherfree. Uh, and let's grab that. Maybe we could... Okay, so we, we're finding biome after biome here, guys. And I think we should check out Extreme Hills quickly. What do we get? Dive! Nice! That's really cool. Um, Butterfree's fainted, though. So let me quickly make this a waypoint. Uh, e Hills. And then we'll warp back to the village. That's a Krikatoon! I really want that. Ah, da, 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 da. Um, because uh, I haven't played like a survival series in so long. Like I play Pixel 1 all the time, but not straight survival, right? Or just straight normal. Straight normal. <laughs> Dude, what level are you? I really want you. Level 20, perfect. Perfect. All right. Quick attack. Oh, this is awesome. He just got added as well, and I love this dude. He has leech life. That's a pretty good move. And his retexture is very cool as well. Don't, don't destroy him, please. Yeah, there we go. Ultra Ball should be a catch. We're super zoomed out for some reason also, <laughs> I just realized. Alright, give us the catch Rooney. It broke free! Oh no, he's gonna bide. Okay, Starvia, you're gonna... Oh no, no, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so now we can Ultra Ball. Easy money. Do you look at him? He's so blue! I love it. Come on, give us the catch. Give us the catch. Yeah, give us the catch. Yeah. What? It broke free again? Oh, he's biding his time. I see how it is. You never loved me. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> okay, come on, that's a catch. What? Oh my goodness. Cricketune's harder than we thought. Wait, isn't Butterfree supposed to get a bunch of new? There's a Mega Blastoise over there. We'll check that out after. Broke free again. No, Butterfree, do you have any 
Nope. Okay. Okay, come on. Krigatoon. I love you, buddy. Please. There's a shiny Mega Blastoise and a non-shiny Mega Blastoise. Nice. I think they have like a 50% chance of being shiny. I swear. This this is not that hard of a catch. Krigatoon, why is your catch rate insane? Okay, we'll try one more time. And then we give up. But give up for this episode, I should say. Because we're coming back for the Krigatoon. 100%. What? 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 Krikatoon. <sighs> you let me down, buddy. You let me down. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> oh, wait, that hurt. Oh, wait, that hurt. Oh, now Butterfree learns Sun Spore and Sleep Powder. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. That, that's a better one to get rid of. Um, fermented Spider, I think that's a good item. I don't really think we need the, the rest. What is this? Oh, it's a Pikachu. It's a pink Pikachu. Okay. So let's quickly hop back to the village, and since we didn't catch that one, we gotta catch a new one, right? <laughs> Dude, I am salty though, I really wanted... If we find a Krigatot, we're catching that. We good, but our team's kind of damaged now. I just... <gasps> it's a Snorlax! Look at this dude. Oh, we got Moo Milk, we can heal. Nice. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so, so amazing, so chubby and amazing. Love Snorlax. It's a cool dude, guys. If you didn't know, Snorlax is a pretty cool dude. Okay, we're gonna need to get some chests and stuff going soon. We are getting too many berries, and I'm not gonna use any of them, to be honest. But it's it's cool nonetheless. I, I really like the models for the berry trees. Yes! That's the onyx. I made onyx uh, texture look like crystal onyx. It's very cool. I wanna save that for another episode, though, so we can have, like, a crystal onyx episode. That would be very cool. But let's... Hmm, actually... You know what, let's save the Extreme Hills for its whole own episode. Let's do that. Alright, and let's end this off actually. Let's battle this. Let's ba no, the Pinnacles are just going to self-destruct, that's a mean one. Okay, so, gas does Gas look the same? Oh my goodness, I changed Ghastly's texture, but it's so hard to understand his texture. He, he better not look exactly the same. Ghastly, okay, you know what, Ghastly doesn't count. <laughs> So we got a Snorlax, we got some stuff over there, but we'll leave that for the next episode. It's pretty interesting, so we'll leave it for the next episode. We got a lot of biomes to explore, a lot of Pokemon to find, a lot of legendaries to find, too. I just want to, we'll head back to the village, see if we find anything cool in the way. Pick up some Pokelutes as well, because I've, <gasps> just when I say that, we find a Master Root. Maybe I should tone the Pokelutes down, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Ooh, it's a Makuhita, I like Makuhita. And Hariyama, they have cool textures. And another Mr. Mime. Oh my goodness. Antidote. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> if we get poisoned, we know what to do. Okay, let's head back to the village. See if we can find anything cool in the way. And other than that, call it a day, I think. That would be fine by me. Alright. Alright, so we have we have three team members. Um, okay, we did change him. He's green in the mouth. Alright, you know what? We changed Ghastly. <laughs> I changed his mouth, guys. Be proud of me. Aren't I have an amazing texture? Please tell me I'm an amazing texture. <laughs> okay, um... Well, it's sunrise. Oh, I thought it was sunrise. It's not sunrise. What am I even talking about? I'm very confused, clearly. What is that? Knocked out. Nice. Nice knocked out. We were pretty far from the village. I never get why Pikachu is such a high level. That's so odd. I don't think he should be, but, hmm. Oh, we were, yeah, we were here. I remember this. Any interesting Pokemon? It's all Mer Magikarp and stuff. They should change the, the spawns to little water spots like this actually have some Pokemon in them. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like that. All right. All right. There's not really anything going on around here. Apart from some berries, but our inventory is almost full, so I'm not going to pick up any more. And the village is in range, so we might as well call it an episode We'll just double check to make sure there's nothing cool around the village, because there can be. There's some interesting plane spawns. Uh, we got a lamp in there. Not too much going on, I guess. I, I suppose. Hmm. Let's just double check. You know. Ooh, it's a Drifflin. Nice. That's a cool texture. Looking fancy. <laughs> Look at little Rattata here. Dude, one of his ears is not done. Oh my goodness. You know, you never saw that. I'm an, I'm an amazing texture, guys. An amazing shop it that's kind of kind of good but you know what no he's too common for me what is that what what is what is this 
Oh, it's a chingling. <laughs> I was so confused for a second. Alright, looks like coast is pretty clear around here. Um, yeah. I think that was a pretty decent episode. We got some skitties around here as well. Let's beat the level 17 one. Okay. With Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa can do this. Fake out. Nice. That's a good move. I like that move a lot. Because it's just good. <laughs> you can't use it multiple times. Um, so, yeah. Let's head back. I've said it. Let's head back like a bajillion times already. I'm just double checking. We're not missing anything. Because you guys will scream in the comments. Or not scream. Just just point it out, and I would feel bad, because I'm bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks like we're clear. It's, it's a Rattata. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. There's another Mega Venusaur over there. Uh, yeah, I spent a ton of time retexturing all the Pokemon, so support would be amazing if we get 2,000 likes or something. There's multiple different moons. That is so weird. It's an Earth now. What? I'm confused. But I hope you guys enjoy. Wait, wait, wait. If that's Earth, then are we not on Earth? What? Oh my god, we're in the flat earth, and that's like our earth. Conspiracy. Okay, <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. A lot of people have joined recently the, in the subscriptions. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another episode. And later today, there should be Pixel 1 Zoo. Alright, see y'all.